Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lawrence Studios. There is another Android session. We'll be talking about Android design patterns. Most developers want to distribute their apps on multiple platforms. As you plan your app for Android, keep in mind that different platforms play by different rules and conventions. Design decisions that make perfect sense on one platform will look and feel misplaced in the context of a different platform. While a design wants ship anywhere approach might save your time upfront you run the very real risks of creating inconsistent apps that alienate users consider the following guidelines to avoid the most common traps and pitfalls firstly don't mimic ui elements from other platforms platforms typically provide a careful design set of ui elements that are themed in a very distinctive fashion for example, some platforms advocate rounded corners for their buttons. Others use gradients in the title bars. In some cases, elements may have the same purpose, but are designed to work a bit differently. As you build your app for Android, don't carry over themed UI elements from other platforms and don't mimic their specific behaviors. Also, examine Android platform apps to get a sense of how elements are applied in the context of an app if you want to customize the theme of ui elements customize carefully according to your specific branding and not according to the conversion of a different platform secondly don't carry over platform specific icons platforms typically provide sets of icons for common functionality such as sharing, creating a new document, or deleting. As you're migrating your app to Android, please swap out platform-specific icons with your Android counterparts. Thirdly, don't add code links to other apps. In some cases, you might want your app to take advantage of another app's feature set. For example, you may want to share the content that your app created via a social network or messaging app or view the content of a web link in a browser don't use ad coded explicit links to particular apps to achieve this instead use android intent instead use android intent api to launch an activity chooser which lists all applications that are set up to handle the particular requests this let the user complete the tax with their preferred app. For sharing in particular, consider using the share action provider in your ac action bar to provide faster access to users most recently used sharing targets. Don't use label back buttons on action bars. Other platforms use an explicit back button with label to allow the user to navigate up the application's hierarchy. Instead, Android uses the main action bar's app icon for hierarchical navigation and the navigation bar's back button for temporal navigation. Follow this guideline to provide a consistent navigation experience across the platform. Don't use right pointing carrots on line items. A common pattern on other platforms is the display of right pointing carrots on line items that allow the user to drill deeper into additional content. Android does not use such indicators on drill down line items. I avoid them to stay consistent with the platform and in order to not have the user guess as to what the meaning of those carrots may be. Remember that your app will run on a wide variety of different screen sizes. Create visual assets for different screen sizes and densities and make use of concepts such as multi-pane layout to appropriately scale your UI on different device form factors. I hope you're going to follow this de these design patterns guidelines to make an application that's unique to Android. Thank you my good listeners for hanging out with me throughout the session. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.